is up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides, and I'm back here at Walker Ford, sunny Clearwater, Florida, because I know you guys and girls out there love Mustangs, and what better way than to, to do a nice side-by-side -side comparison? What we're gonna do is we're gonna focus on the difference of how you go from a 2019 Mustang GT to the all-new 2019 Bullet Mustang. If you don't know much about what's been going on, Ford has decided to bring back that iconic name, the Bullet Mustang, into their lineup to really pay homage to that 1968 Highland Green Mustang that Steve McQueen drove in that famous movie, that famous car scene of that title, Bullet. But let's go ahead and focus on the front of this 2019 Mustang GT. So with the GT, what you get is a gloss black hexagonal grille. I like the gloss black. I like the design. I love the chrome pony. And I really like these two bars that they put on each side. It really shows a nice aggressive look. Now for, 29, uh, excuse me, for 2018, they redesigned the front end of the car, that Darth Vader look. I really think it's really growing on a lot of people. And it really just keeps that tradition of 21st century styling with a connection to the past. Love the headlights. I love how slim the housings are. It really gives it a sinister, mean look to the front. And that's what this car is about. It's a muscle car tied to the past with lots of performance. My zonk, if I'm going to zonk the front of the car, is I don't like this lower grill area. I wish they would have finished it off with the gloss black. And I wish that this black ABS plastic piece was not here. I wish the grill went all the way across. I just think it would clean up the whole look and just even make it look more aggressive. Now, pay attention to this lower lip spoiler here because guess what? On the bullet, you're gonna see that that one is larger because it has the performance pack lower lip spoiler. Speaking of the bullet, here we are. Right off the bat, you'll notice that larger opening, totally clean frontal grille area. And if you see, they listened. They took the same gloss black up top brought it into the bottom and had it go all the way over to the side, makes it look much more cohesive, much more uniform than before. Focus on this lower lip spoiler. Remember how I was telling you, look at how much larger it is in that size, and that's gonna help create better airflow and better downforce compared to the standard Mustang GT. Also, another thing that I think they hit the nail on the head perfect was the chrome trim. On the bullet, that's the only way to get this trim is on the bullet Mustang. I love the way it goes around like that. Really looks like that 1968 Mustang that Steve McQueen was racing through the streets of San Francisco in the movie. Other than that, same styling, that Darth Vader look, really looks aggressive, really well done. Let's go ahead and take a look and compare the sides of both of these Mustangs. All right, guys, time to take a look at the side of the 2019 Mustang GT. Now, this one comes in at that base level with some extra options. This is a, the mock style wheel. So this is an 18 inch wheel. If you look behind the wheel, we're just looking at a standard flat gray uh, four piston caliper. You can see the rotor behind the wheel, nothing large, nothing cross drilled or anything like that. When it comes to the tires that are on the standard Mustang GT, you're looking at an all season tire. So it's a do it all uh, kind of well. This isn't a high performance tire um, like you're gonna find on the bullet. As we go down the side, there's our traditional, that five liter badge, 5.0 underneath the hood, 302. When we talk about power, you're looking at 460 horsepower. As we go down the side of the Mustang, I've been a big fan of the overall shape, really pays homage to the old Mustangs of the past, especially those late 60s. And I just really love the flared fender in this race red look. It just pops, screams performance, screams fun. Let's go ahead and see what's different on the bullet. All right, guys, time to take a look at the bullet. Let's look at some of the goodies that you're gonna get. Right off the bat, you'll notice, beautiful. These are the Heritage style wheel, five spoke wheel, 19 inch. So you're getting an inch larger in di diameter on the wheel. I love the brushed aluminum trim. I love the gloss black. And then you'll see peeking behind those uh, wheels are those huge, massive six piston Brembo calipers with the upgraded. Now remember, with the performance pack, you're getting upgraded rotors. Those are larger rotors, fully ventilated, six piston caliper from that performance pack. 
If I'm going to zonk this package, I would like to see this caliper in a different color. I know it's in the traditional Brembo red calipers, and I did a little looking. Where else do they have red calipers nowadays? That's going to be on a GT350R. So, I mean, they really pop and they really scream. I just don't like the red with the, with the green. Reminds me too much of Christmas. Not like that's a bad thing, but hey, uh, you know, styling wise, I would like to see this maybe in like a silver or a dark gray with some black Brembo script. I think it would just fit the whole classic look a lot more because Steve McQueen definitely did not have bright red calipers on his 68 uh, Mustang. As we go down the side, you can see just like the front, no badging. You still got that 302 underneath uh, the hood, that five liter, but we don't have to let people know that. As we work our way down the side, here's another difference. Tying in that heritage look, it's got the chrome trim around the rear quarter window and the side window. It works perfect on this car. Normally, I would zonk chrome like that, especially on a performance car like this Mustang, but with the classic look, it fits perfect. As we work our way back, still those same classic, awesome lines of the Mustang. Let's go ahead and take a look at probably one of my favorite parts of a Mustang, which is the back. We're going to start with that race red one. Let's go check it out. All right, guys, tail end of the 2019 Mustang GT. Right off the top, I do like this trunk lid spoiler. Nice little kick up. That's something that if you went performance pack, it would be a larger, totally different rear spoiler than on the standard GT. I love the back, though. I love the tri bar tail lights. I like this gloss black centerpiece with the GT logo, and I think one of the biggest things that just knock the tail of this Mustang right out of the park are the, ta uh, the tailpipes. I like the way they went with the exhaust tips, a quad tip design similar to the GT350. Not only are you going to get that great sound, you're going to get extra looks, and it just really just makes the whole package tied back to that muscle car era. Let's go ahead and check out the back of the bullet. All right guys, tail end of the bullet, you'll notice right off the bat with the bullet, it's about debadging, it's about cleaning out that look. No spoiler whatsoever, no deck lid spoiler, no wing, clean looks. I, like I said, continuation of the tri bar from the standard GT. Here's the biggest thing that's gonna change is that bullet logo. Some people would say it's cheesy. I kind of think it's cool. You are getting a special car and people are gonna know when they're behind you that, hey, that's a bullet Mustang. Lots of people seen the movie, lots of people, huge Steve McQueen fans. Another difference is going to be on the exhaust. If you notice, this one is finished in a nice flat black, really hides the exhaust better with the diffuser compared to the standard Mustang GT. This also comes standard, that exhaust is that active exhaust, so you can make it quiet or loud depending on what you want and when you want it, which is a great feeling to have. Let's go ahead and pop under the hood because guess what? There's some surprises there. All right, guys, best part is here. Time to look underneath the hood of these two prancing Mustangs. We're gonna start with the 2019 Mustang GT. There it is, that tried and true 302 cubic inch, five liter V8 pumping out 460 horsepower at 7,500 RPM. This one is mated to a slick shifting, six speed manual transmission. If your right arm is fast and you can dance with your feet, you're looking at zero to 60 in about 4.1 seconds. Let's do a couple zonks. I'm gonna keep zonking it until Ford changes it. This plastic cover has got to go. I don't like the look of it. I don't like the size. Show off that intake plenum. Don't be ashamed of that. Show off some of the inner bits underneath what's hiding here. That's what car guys and girls want to see when they pop the hood. Another zonk is going to be this guy right here, the good old prop rod. Has been around since the beginning of time. Ford, for some reason, does not want to switch over to hydraulic struts. That's something that you could add as an owner to one of these two Mustangs. Another thing I want to point out before we switch is the enclosed air box here where the air filter resides. This is totally the way it comes from the factory for every single Mustang GT. The reason why I point this out, it's time to find out. Let's go ahead and check out the 2019 Bullet Mustang. You're going to notice some differences. First of all, check out the strut tower brace that's from the performance package. Now I like what they did here is they actually made a totally different nameplate because this is the bullet. If you get a GT performance pack, it has the GT logo there. Underneath the strut tower brace, you're gonna say, hey, did they take the plastic cover off? 
not only did they take the plastic cover off, this intake is totally different. That is taken straight from the Shelby GT350. That's gonna give you more power because that's what I love about this bullet. It's not about just all show and no extra go. This thing has 480 horsepower mated to a six-speed transmission. That's the way to get it. This one also has the wonderful, borrowed from the GT350, it's an option, Magna Ride suspension. I highly recommend if you go the bullet route or any Mustang route in particular, get that option. It's around $1,400 well worth it. You'll notice the air box. Let's focus on this. So on the standard GT, it was totally enclosed. It was much smaller. This has an open performance air box. There's that high flowing cone filter that they put on there. That's also taken from the GT350. Now, if I'm going to zonk underneath here, what I'm going to zonk is still that prop rod, which I'm sure you can see right now in view. But the bigger zonk, I wish this had the Shelby GT350's six-speed manual transmission. That Tremec is leagues above the six-speed in the 29 GT, so that would be my biggest problem with it. But hey, with extra horsepower, extra performance, and you'll see when we get inside, there's a lot of extra niceties. The bullet really slots in nicely into the Ford lineup. Let's go ahead and check out the insides, but first, we need to start these up. So let's go ahead and fire up these two ponies. guys time to take a look at the 2019 Mustang GT this one does have the optional leather interior what's nice about these seats very comfortable they're also heated and air conditioned which is a very nice touch I'm gonna go ahead and swing on in very comfortable place to be full electric capability so you can contour it to your body type here is that Mustang I'm gonna go ahead and fire it up real quick and you can see with this one it does not have the optional LED system. So it has your traditional analog um, tachometer, speedometer, and then the info section in the center which shows things like fuel economy. Because it does have the optional pieces, it also comes with the larger infotainment screen, which I'm telling you right now, if you're going to get a Mustang, pay the extra money and get this screen because the standard screen is about the size of a postage stamp. If I'm gonna zonk the interior, the center console is a little hard. It does have a very nice feel of the gearbox. I wish the shift knob was just a little bit larger, but guess what? Let's go over to the bullet and we'll see if some of those things have been changed. Let's go check it out. All right, guys, here we are in the 2019 Bullet Mustang. Let's start with the changes. On the lower sill, you'll see the nice bullet logo there. Very nice touch. It shows that Ford didn't just wanna slap one name badge on it. They really were decisive where they put those name badges on the dash here. Here's your other bullet logo with a chassis number, which is just an extra nice touch, letting you know that the car is special. Now, is the bullet limited? No. And I'm probably going to zonk that. I really feel like this should be kept at a certain limited production number, but they'll build as many bullets as people want. Remember, you can get it in the green, but also the black if you are a true Bullet fan though, you're going the green. That's the only way to go. Here's another great option. These have the optional Recaros. Love that they're full leather. I love the style of them and I love the way they brought the green into the stitching and the embroidery and also the cross stitching as well. Another nice touch. And they even, I know it's very hard to see, but they even brought the green even on the door panels, which are nice. Here's another addition that I really love is the cue ball shift knob. It's a little bit larger than the standard shift knob. Still that same gearbox. Wish it was a Tremec from the Shelby GT350. I do like the way this has the infotainment system. And remember, because this has the performance pack, you get the 373 gears out back, plus you're gonna get your extra gauges from the performance pack. That's oil pressure and vacuum. I love the location of it. And I love the material that they're using in the dash on the Mustangs. Very, very nice touch. 
why don't you come over here to the business side of the bullet because I'm telling you there's some nice things to look at over here. Come check it out. All right guys, here we are, the business end of things. Let's start with that door panel like I was telling you. It's got that wonderful green cross stitching in there. I love the leather, it's nice and soft, very nice touch. Seating position. This seat, it's not electric, but it does a really good job of getting it to fit your body type. I wish it was power that would actually help with some of the adjustment. If you're wondering about the bolstering, these are not as bolstered as say a Ford Focus RS. They're just enough to where you're gonna feel it, trust me, you're hugged in this, but this is about performance, and if you're gonna you know, rip through the streets of San Francisco like Steve McQueen in the movie, you're gonna wanna be held into place. Steering wheel, I wish they would've changed the style of the wheel just a little bit more. It does have a bullet badge in the center, which is a nice touch, and this one does come with that 12 inch LED digital display, absolutely in love with it. You could go ahead and I'm gonna switch the different modes here. So you were in normal, you could go to Sport Plus. Look at how everything changes. Really, really nicely done. I love that tachometer. We wanna go even further into track. Check it out, now the tack is right across the top there. One of my favorite things though, is if you look on the steering wheel, there's a little pony right here, a little Mustang. You hit that. Check out on the dash there, it says my mode, we're gonna go down into exhaust. This has the optional exhaust mode and you can select whatever you wanted and you wanna put in sport, you just go ahead and hit okay and it's in sport mode. And it just gives you a nice sound, some pops, some bangs. We're gonna take this one for a drive. So if you're ready, get your Steve McQueen, like focus, do your mantra and get that Steve McQueen inside of you because we're taking this bullet for a spin. Let's go do it. All right, guys, we're in the 2019 Bullet Mustang rolling out of Walker Ford. Got it exhaust in sport mode. Just being quiet so you can listen to that beautiful 480 horsepower V8. Remember, this has the Magna Ride suspension really helps smoothing out those bumps. It's calculating every single nanosecond. All right, guys, so even just driving along in this Bullet Mustang, very comfortable. We're just doing a drive in the Bullet because you know what? For the money, this is the way to go. New for 2019 is that automatic rev match downshifting. Love the sound, love the feel. Great sound coming from that exhaust. Remember, you can quiet it up if you want it quieter. What's great about the Bullet, just like with some of the other Mustang GTs, is that you could adjust the steering feel, you could adjust the different mode settings, and with the Magna Ride, this thing is very comfortable. I'm gonna go ahead and in second gear, roll on it. Great sound as we roll out onto the highway here. 480 horsepower, remember you have those 373 gears, Great visibility out of the Bullet, just like with any of the Mustangs. Like it so much more than the Camaro. I'm gonna keep zonking it. The Tremec would be so sweet in this car because with the Tremec gearbox, it just, it's like a hot knife through butter. This gearbox is very smooth shifting. Uh, the throws are very short and crisp. It's just the Tremec has something a little bit extra. You can see with the gauges how by going into the different modes, it will change, so if I go back to Sport Plus, there we are, normal, then I wanna to go to Sport Plus. You can see how the tack wraps around. Very, very nice feel. Nice look, easy to read, love the colors. These seats are great, uh, very comfortable seats. They don't come heated or air conditioned, but you know what, you don't miss it. Even on an 80 de degree day like today, you don't miss the air conditioned seats, but but the stability they give you by holding your body like a newborn baby, it's just, it's amazing. It's a very amazing feeling. And the, the fact that they're all leather, that's a very nice touch as well. I'm gonna go ahead and switch lanes here. Like I said, great vi visibility. Just a car that just, it garners attention. People wanna know what it is. That downshifting going into fourth and the third, very, very nice. The feel is really great. Rolling away from that dead stop, the clutch modulation is really awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and roll on it in second gear. You really feel that suspension just doing the work. 
very nicely done. I'm telling you right now, you're gonna wanna option in that Magna Ride suspension. Great feel over the bumps, really gets the power to the ground. That 480 horsepower, 20 more over the standard Mustang GT. And just when you wanna cruise, we're doing 70 here, you just cruise, it's nice, it's quiet. AC controls are in a great position. The infotainment system is really easy to look at. Navigation works great. Fit and finish, quality. I really enjoy being in these Mustangs. I really, really do. I know some of you are like, oh, you're just a Ford fanboy, but I love the look of the, of the whole interior. I, I like the way it ties it back into the, the past. I really do. Um, steering wheel, I wish they would have just done something with the size of it and the shape, but I do like that bullet logo staring you right in the face and that digital dash, so easy to go through too. I'm gonna go ahead and go back into track. I really like that setup. Shuts off the traction control. Listen to that downshifting. Third, very nice. Then you just roll into the power all the way up to 7,500 RPM. Very nicely done, Ford. All right, guys, it's been one wonderful day here at Walker Ford. I definitely gotta give a huge shout out and a thank you to Frank Walker, Weston Walker, Tracy, Benji, Austin, Mark, Denise, Greg, everybody here at Walker Ford is so welcoming of Radies Rides, so supportive, and they are allowing me to bring you these amazing Mustangs that I know you all love. But if these are the types of things you like to see on Radies Rides, these side-by-side -side comparisons, what are you really getting for your money? Because remember, MSRP on this bullet is $53,000. MSRP on this Mustang GT is $40,000. So there is a difference there. What are you getting? I'm glad I could bring this comparison to you. If you aren't a subscriber, seriously, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile coming back each and every day for these great, amazing cars that we're bringing. Old, new, muscle, classic, supercar, everything in between. If you are a subscriber, thank you. Thank you for being on this journey. Thank you for being so supportive, so encouraging, and so dedicated to Ready's, Ready's Rise. We can't do it without you, so I'm grateful for that and definitely just looking forward to all the upcoming excitement. If you haven't checked out my Facebook, my Instagram, or Twitter pages, all Radies Rides original content all the time, merch. You wanna get yourself some Radies Rides merch? New year, new you. What you do is click the button above my head. It's somewhere up there, I promise you. Click that, it takes you right to Spreadshirt. Shirts, hats, hoodies, bags, bandanas, the whole shabam, the whole nine yards. Get yourself something, get your wife or husband something. Get the next door neighbor something. Speaking of that special person, big shout out to Big Guns McGee, Tom Moshner, doing double work. Not one car, but two cars. He loves them, he loves bringing them to you. So thank you, Tom, for all your hard work. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.